How do we prove the triangle mid-segment theorem? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. I think this is a really neat theorem. Here it is written out for clarity. The triangle mid-segment theorem states that in a triangle, the segment joining the midpoints of any two sides will be parallel to the third side and half the length of the third side. It's always a good idea when we're trying to do a geometry proof to sketch the situation. We've got a generic triangle, ABC, and without loss of generality, we can pick two sides to construct midpoints on, D and E are the midpoints, and then the line segment DE is the segment we're trying to prove stuff about. We're trying to prove that DE is half the length of this third side CB, and we're trying to prove that DE is parallel to CB. If you haven't tried proving the theorem on your own yet, I definitely recommend doing that first. If you want a couple hints, here are two things you'll need to use in the proof. You'll use triangle similarity and the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. So go ahead and try proving the theorem on your own before watching the rest of this video. All right, if you're still watching, I hope you've given it a try. Let's get into the proof. Firstly, there is some information missing in our diagram. Remember that D is the midpoint of AC. So we know that this line segment AD is congruent to this segment CD. So let's say AD has a length of X, thus CD also has a length of X. Similarly, since E is the midpoint of AB, AE is congruent to BE, we'll say this has a length of Y, thus BE also has a length of Y. And again, this information is just given to us because these are midpoints. To continue the proof, let's take a closer look at what we're trying to prove. We're trying to prove that two segments are parallel, and we're trying to prove that the length of one segment is half the length of another segment. Notice that half is a ratio, the ratio 1 to 2. When we're talking about triangles and ratios, a concept that should immediately come into your mind is the idea of similar triangles. Of course, to talk about similar triangles, we need two triangles. Do we have two triangles in this situation? Well, we certainly do. We have the original triangle, ABC, and we also have this triangle, AED. So if we could show that AED is similar to triangle ABC, we might have a shot at showing that this line segment is half the length of this line segment. And if we're observant, we may immediately notice that the side AD is half the length of the side AC. That's because AD has a length of X, and AC has a length of X plus X, which is 2X. Similarly, we might notice that the side AE is half the length of the side AB. And again, this is for the same reasons. AE has a length of Y, and AB has a length of y plus y, or 2y. So now, we've got two sides in these two triangles that are proportional. Then, if we could show that the included angles of these sides in the two triangles are congruent, we could use the side angle side similarity postulate to conclude that the triangles are similar. Now, what's the included angle of the sides AD and AE? Well, that would be this angle A right here. What is the included angle of the sides AC and AB? Well, that is also the very same angle, angle A. So we have, by the reflexive property of congruence, that angle A is congruent to angle A. And therefore, by the side angle side similarity postulate, we can conclude that triangle AED is similar to triangle ABC. Now, why is this so important? Why is this useful? Well, remember that corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. Since these two triangles are similar, and we know that AD is half the length of the corresponding side AC, we also know that DE is half the length of its corresponding side CB. So isn't that cool? We'll say that DE has a length of Z, therefore CB has a length of 2Z. So now we're basically halfway done. We've proven one part of the conclusion. 
that this segment, joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, is half the length of the third side of the triangle. Now, we just need to prove that this segment DE is parallel to the third side of the triangle CB. We say that two line segments are parallel if the lines that contain those line segments are parallel. So a reasonable thing to do would be to draw these two lines that contain the line segments we're concerned with. Then, if you've worked with problems involving parallel lines, you might immediately notice something. These two lines are being cut by this transversal. They're also being cut by this transversal, but we can focus on just one. Let's focus on this transversal AB. We see here this angle AED and this angle ABC, these are corresponding angles. And if we can prove that these angles are congruent, then by the converse of the corresponding angles theorem, we will have proved that these two lines are parallel. So are these two angles congruent? Well, yes they are, because remember, similar triangles have congruent corresponding angles. And the angle AED corresponds to the angle ABC. So since they are corresponding angles in two similar triangles, the angle AED is certainly congruent to the angle ABC. And therefore, by the converse of the corresponding angles theorem, since a pair of the corresponding angles created by the transversal AB are congruent, we know that these two lines are parallel. And thus, in conclusion, since the lines containing these line segments are parallel, we also know that these two line segments are parallel. And if you don't remember what the converse of the corresponding angles theorem is, check the description. I always leave lots of extra details down there. And so there we go. I think that's a pretty sweet proof. We had two different things to prove, and using two different strategies, we were able to prove both of them. So we have proven that in a triangle, the segment joining the midpoints of any two sides is half the length of the third side, and it is parallel to the third side. It's a really neat result, and I hope you like the proof. And I'll quickly point out, we also could have used the corresponding angles over here in order to use the converse of the corresponding angles theorem. And I'll also point out that I color-coded these angles, so these two are congruent, these two are congruent, and this angle is congruent to itself, of course. With that said, I hope this video helped you understand how to prove the triangle mid-segment theorem. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes a